Star Trek The Motion Picture, the director's edition, is a nice, fresh cut with digital imagery that is just so beautiful to look at. Unlike the original that was aired in the theaters back in 79, this one has fresh screens, more clear imagery to it. The sounds and visuals are just amazing to look at. It is a real pleasure to sit back and watch this. And many have commented that it feels like you're watching it for the first time, like you would back in the theater in 79. But now that that's been said, there are some things that I do want to talk to you about regarding this movie. As I said, it is a beautiful piece of work that they've done polishing it up. But have they made some mistakes? To be fair about it, the only real mistake and thing that bothers me the most about this movie is one particular scene. The scene that I'm talking about, of course, is probably the most memorable scene throughout the whole movie, and that is the transporter malfunction, the transporter accident, or as some people like to call it, the way of killing off Spock's replacement. Now, as we all know, the scene, sets, the scene in the engine room sets off the whole tragic affair where chief one of the engineers, Kyle, is replacing a sensor module when it sets off a, a malfunction that kills off the pattern buffer, which unfortunately, without that, is unable to put the crew members back together properly in the transporter system. But the real tragedy in this scene that's about to happen is what they did in the editing room with the new addition to Star Trek The Motion Picture. They added sound effects to it, that took away from the horrific event that we are witnessing. Transporter room, come in, urgent. Red line on the transporter, Mr. Scott. Transporter, do not engage. It's too do late, not. they're beaming now. Do you? Okay, so as we all know, Kirk and Scotty run off to the transporter room to see if they can help out. The next scene, shows the transporter room, control room, ex exploding all over the place, sound effects. But what they've done is they've added more transporter beam sound effects to it, overpowering the rest of the scene. You read me, Starfleet. Override us. Pull them back. Now, here is that same scene in the original version without all the hyped up sound effect. Do you read me, Starfleet? Override us! Pull them back! Able to retrieve their pattern in a ride. But that's not the real problem that I have with this whole scene and the editing that was done to this most iconic part of the movie. The special effects that they added to that one scene just takes away from the tragedy, the terror of that moment that was happening to these two people. And honestly, it hurts the memory of that scene for me. That bit scared the hell out of me. And now here is the original clip. Oh no. The screams heard throughout the, the transporter room the first time as they tried to assemble. Faint, weak, but then when they come together for that final assembly, which just couldn't happen, the screams, they 
pure agony that these people went through echoed through the chamber. And as they faded away, their screams were heard echoing still while there was no nothing left. That was a freaky, scary scene. And to do what they did to it, they say, was just adding more to it, making it better. But I believe it hurt the scene. So tell me what you think about this. Do you think I'm right? Or do you think I'm wrong? Do you think the original Transporter Accident is better than the Director's Edition? Or do you like the Director's Edition better? Drop your comments, my friends. Let me know what you think about this. And until the next time, God bless.